Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be looking at this question which states that if G is some finite group, then we need to show that the number of elements X of G such that X cube is equals to E, that is odd. And next thing that we have to show is that the number of element X such that X square is equals to E is even, right? So let's prove the two parts separately. We first of all assume that we are taking a finite group, so it would have finite number of elements within it, right? First of all, we need to show that the number of elements x such that x cube is e is odd in number, right? So let's prove this thing. So first of all, if you element this x, that is identity element, would we have this property for it? So let's check if we take x as e, then x cube it would definitely be e because e cube is definitely e you know that hence e satisfy this property hence this would be a part of the number of elements which is in g right now suppose that x is not present in e right and we uh, consider that it for uh, that particular non uh, non identity element x follow this property that x cube is equals to e right then how many such x would be there we need to know about it right now clearly if x is a member of g then x inverse is also a member of g right if that is so now we need to check whether x inverse whether this x inverse satisfies this property or not we first of all calculate x inverse cube so we can write it as x cube inverse right and you know if we are assuming x to be of such kind right such that x cube is e so this x cube is also equals to the identity element e and the inverse of identity element is again e right so from here you obtain that x inverse cube is equals to identity right this is what you have so what does it imply it implies that if x is not an uh, uh, not equal to the identity element and moreover x cube is equals to e then its inverse cube is also equal to e so that means whenever we have such an x such an x inverse would also be there right so both of them would occur in pair and we have one such x which is the identity element which satisfies this property so in total if they are the twin elements which occur in pair and we have one more along with it so that means the total number of such elements would be how many they would be odd in number right and now you would say what if your x and x inverse they are same right this could also be the case then our number of cal uh, the number of such elements this calculation would be altered so let's have a look we uh, say that both x and x inverse they are different right suppose if possible if they are equal for some x then what would happen let's check so we can uh, pre-multiply both sides with x right so that it would become x square and this side would become e right so that we would have x square is equals to e however we also know that x cube is equals to e so what does uh, and we have x square is equals to e from this expression so together what do we have we have the value of x as we can write it as e x right and we can write e as x square right we can write e as x square so what is x square into x that is x cube right and what is the value of x cube it is e so that means x comes out to be equal to e however in the starting we have assumed that this x was not equal to e hence we obtained a contradiction here hence they both of them cannot be uh, true together so this thing is not there right if this thing is not there so that means they cannot be equal hence they have to be different from each other so that means when uh, we have the total number of elements which satisfy this property what is this identity element and one is if x is such an element which satisfy this property then x inverse would also satisfy this property so in total we would have the number to be an odd number correct for the second part we need to prove that if some element x in g satisfies this property that x square is not equal to e right then that number is an even number so we would have even number of such elements with us correct so we need to prove this thing so here 
let's check it for identity element you know identity element e square that is equal to e so it does not satisfy this property hence e is not there in our list of even numbers right so let's check uh, what else do we have now let's suppose some element which is not identity and we assume that its square is not equal to identity right then we need to check it for x inverse for x inverse do we also have this property or not right so uh, if we take x inverse square not equal to e right we are saying this is not equal to e why because if we take them both to be equal we will again reach at a contradiction so in this case if you take this to be equal to e then when you open this up you would have x raised to power minus 2 is equals to e right you can multiply by x square pre multiply on both sides so that uh, you would have this thing equals to identity and this thing equals to x square hence x square becomes equal to e however we had uh, x square not equal to e so this is us a contradiction that they are equal so that means they are not equal to each other correct hence we would have uh, if an element square is not equal to identity then its inverse square is also not equal to identity hence they also occur in pair so first of all we know that the element identity does not possess this property and second of all the element if some element x in g has this property then its inverse would also have the same property so that means they occur in pair hence the number comes out to be an even number right so i hope you understood this question well well that is it for this video thank you for watching